What's going down everybody? Brother Stavani is here. Welcome back to Command Center Wargaming. Now this video here is going to be one of our first videos in a series of videos covering Aeronautica Imperialis. And we're going to be unboxing the Wrath of Angels box. Okay, so Aeronautica Imperialis is basically a mini game from Games Workshop that uh, basically is an air combat uh, simulator. Okay, so strategic air combat simulator. So whereas Titanicus deals with Titans, okay, 30K is Age of Darkness, okay, 40K is, you know, 40K, basically, big armies, all right? Uh, Wrath of Angels, or, or Aeronautica Imperialis, it concentrates on the uh, air battles. Now, there is another starter box. It's a pretty old one now. It's about two years old. It's the uh, Orc with, and the Imperial Guard, or Astra Militarum, or P M Imperial Navy, uh, starter box, okay, um, but I might do that one on the channel a bit later, but for now, we'll just have a look at this one, we're going to start getting some bat reps up on the channel, uh, playing with my mate Matt, and uh, it should be pretty good, but I want to see how the game goes, right, looks pretty good, like there's some really cool rules to it and stuff like that, um, but before I invest, you know, into a massive army, uh, I'll go through and just test the game out, see how it goes, play a few games, can't hurt, all right, so your standard game of this, you're probably looking at a couple of Xiphon fighters, a uh, few Storm Eagles, a few Thunderhawk gunships, or oh, a Thunderhawk gunship, sorry, and uh, a Fire Raptor or two. So there's, you know, it, it's actually a pretty small game. It's a pretty quick game. It does go for about, can go for about 12 turns, but, you know, you've only got a limited number of, uh, of planes on the um, the field. Uh, depending how many points you play, but you've so I've seen games go, you know, like three planes versus three planes, you know, all the way up to you know ten or, or twelve or so. So it's uh, it's pretty cool. So yeah, stay tuned to the channel. We'll be having a look at the rules for the game and, and that as well. Probably do a how to play as well. And the other reason I want to get into this a bit more is because I could fit this into my thirty k. Uh, I'm doing a lot of the thirty k universe right now. Um, so this fits right in. So in this Wrath of Angels box, it's quite actually a heavy box. There's a bit in it. Uh, quite a lengthy box too, if you look at the length. Let's have a look, see what we get inside the Wrath of Angels uh, Imperialis box. So in this box, you will get three Azari Nightwings. So this is the Eldar size. It's basically Eldar versus Space Marine. Okay. Uh, you will get three Phoenix Bombers. You will get three Xiphon Interceptors, two Storm Eagles, uh, one Rule Book, two Quick Reference Cards, or one Double Sided Arena of Engagement, which is this here. Now, I actually want to start making my own ones up of these because all you really need is like a hexagonal pattern over the shop, uh, over the top of some kind of um, terrain photo of some terrain so it'd be cool i might start making my own little theaters up with those um that'd be awesome uh set of tokens and the stands and stuff like that you get some dice six-sided dice some transfers for the planes and also the counters as well uh, which is pretty cool and you can see an example of what you get on the back here all right okay there's your storm eagle not to be confused with the fire raptors uh, the Fire Raptors, there's another video on the channel, uh, which I just did up before this one, actually. But this is actually the first one. Um, if you want to see the Fire Raptor unboxing, you check out uh, the other video on my channel there. All right, I'll put a link below um, in the comments, and uh, you can follow that there. Have a look at that. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. And you get the stands and everything. So let's open this one up, see how it goes. Right. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to playing this. I'm thinking we can do some campaigns and I'm thinking we can sort of marry it up with some 30k campaigns as well that we're playing. Um, I know we've been talking about doing a, um, a bit of uh, recreation of the battles of Istvan 5 and 3 and things. Um, so it'd be cool, like, you know, to play different theatres, but in a campaign where, you know, different, uh, different victories gain different buffs on the campaign map and stuff like that. So... Yeah, you, know, you can have like an air battle, perhaps. You know, so the tight that the Titans go in, you know, destroy stuff, and and you know that's in one theater, and then the Aeronautica happens in the other theater, and like if if the if the sky battles won, then you know stuff is easier for the uh, the Titans. Maybe like the winner of the last game can call in an airstrike or something like that in the Titan game or something. You know, because the air uh, the air, the air is clear. Um, so yeah, it's uh. 
it's pretty cool. So you can see here you've got the um, really nice artwork on the front too. It's really well done. Really well done artwork on the front, I must say. So some of the artwork, Games Workshop's been a bit cheap, um, but some of it's really good. It looks like the Horace Heresy style um, of artwork where they used to get the models and then, you know, Photoshop it in in a realistic background and stuff. Um, that's obviously a painting, I believe, but uh, yeah, it might be a model, I'm not sure. But the box is even, yeah, a little bit embroidered. It's good. The game seems to be going well. They're, they're, up, they're updating kits for it and stuff. And um, they're investing in new kits and everything. So that's why I'm keen to give it a try. Uh, because, yeah, they, they, they're keeping it going. So the game seems very healthy. So it must be okay. There's a few people playing it. So we'll definitely get into it, see how it goes. I could kind of imagine it being a little bit like X-Wing a little bit, but in... In, in 30k or 40k um, from what I've seen with you know the playthroughs and stuff that I've seen it's pretty much what it is but there's some other stuff there's some similar rules there's some rules that aren't the same like for example like you know as everything's open air uh, you know you can't really like bump into anything you know so if you move and you land on top of something you just end up next to it right so you know you don't actually there's no real collisions or anything um so far as i can tell just yet but i'm still learning the rules sort of so first in the box we've got these uh these tokens so we've got these stands so they're not really tokens at all they're basically stands and you can see here right um, we have these little numbers here on the side, right? And this is for things like speed um, and ammunition and things like that. There's also uh, another marker. You can use the markers for maneuvers and things, okay? So, yeah, and you can see here we've got the firing arcs, right? So it's a front arc. Uh, very important for things like when you're tailing someone, you get like an extra shot in one of the phases. Um, and then some vehicles, obviously, they have uh, other firing arcs as well. So like a rear arc here. Stuff like bombers and that, okay, so it's pretty cool. So these are the Xiphon interceptors in the box. So you can see here, pretty decent size. I mean, the Fire Raptors and the Storm Eagles, you can see them here, it's, it's pretty, pretty decent size, right? I don't know how to scale that is though, because I've, I've got a Xiphon and I've got a, a couple of these uh, Fire Raptor chassis in the 28 millimeter scale. I don't remember them being being the Xiphons being that big, but maybe I'm wrong. I might have to do a size comparison or something like that later on. But uh, yeah, these are the Xiphons. Oh, that's the old art flyer. This is the Xiphon. Yeah. So you can see here you got the, the bottom and the top. It's pretty easy to assemble. You got wings and stuff. Um, I dare say there will be an instruction manual in here, but yeah, it's it's pretty easy kit to figure out. Okay, so there you go. All right, fantastic. So you get some of the engines and stuff there. Pretty nice. There's two there, two of those. And then one sprue with the two Storm Eagles on it. Okay, which is interesting because those are Storm Eagles. The Fire Raptors actually had two separate sprues. But whatever, all good. I guess they have more weapons configurations. So that's that justifies that. But that's what the sprue looks like. And that's what you get. Fantastic. Here going on to the Eldar stuff now. Okay, we have one of the fighters, right? Okay, it's pretty cool, All right? You can see you've got some of the, the weapons there, okay? And the bombers. I mean, that's pretty much it in terms of plastic, in terms of the actual sprues, right? These fighters could be, uh, could be very interesting to paint up. I'm debating, um, like, whether I'm going to keep them or not. I might, I might actually sell them. Or I might just give them away on the channel. We might do a giveaway. I might give these away. I can't see. Uh, I can't see uh, me. Me using them too much. You get some dice. So you get eight six sided dice. Right. Nothing massive there. Okay. Well, I tell you, if anyone wants to trade out um, their Space Marine stuff uh, for for Eldar stuff, let me know. Because uh, I'd trade those for some extra Xiphones and stuff like that, for sure. Destruction book. Oh, you get some art. So this is like an art card. It's got some, it's got the units on the back. Uh, I picked this kit up for about, I think it was like 
a hundred ish or so, which I think is pretty reasonable value. Now, I believe it's a little bit more if you buy it from Games Workshop. I bought this from eBay um, from an independent seller. Uh, but I think, you know, I mean, obviously all this stuff is overpriced, but I think it's pretty good value for the money, uh, considering when 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 you're uh, when you're comparing it to other kits. All right, if if you could say that, <laughs> so you know, all good. I mean, it is it is just some plastic little toys, you know, with not many movable parts. Um, so it is what it is, but that's how it is. You know, it probably costs them like three bucks to make. But anyway, all good. So here is the uh, here are the decals, right? So you can see here you got the Eldar decals on this side. And you've got the Space Marine decals on the other side. Now, a lot of the other kits just have that basically split up in half like that. Okay, and you've basically got the stands. Looks like another another dais. Okay. Um, I wonder if it's, it's separate. I wonder if that's for a separate vehicle. I'll have to have a look into that. Anyway, all good. So this is the map. So you've got a map here. And this is... Oh no, is this cardboard or is this like vinyl? I'm gonna open this up to find out. So we'll have a look. Hmm. It's quite large actually. It's a lot a lot bigger than what I thought it would be. It's 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 cardboard, but it's it's a very, very, very sturdy cardboard. So it's not, not a bad size. I'll see if I can zoom the camera out on that. Um, it's pretty big. You can see, wow, yeah. Look at that, I can't even fit it on the, all on the screen. It's pretty big, pretty big, decent, decent Photoshop too. It's pretty cool. So you got like a volcano planet. And you've got like a what looks to be like more of a moon or something like that. I'm gonna zoom back in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So it's pretty awesome. That's what it looks like. All right. Fantastic. All right. Then we have the instructions over here as well. Now the instructions in the other kits. Um, I noticed that. It was a little bit, I thought it was a little bit cheap because like I was expecting to get cards with them. So on the rule books, I don't know if this is an ongoing thing because obviously I've just invested into this system, but on the rule books themselves, they actually have these cards just printed on the back. Now I would have expected, these are the assembly instructions. I, I would have expected, yeah, see, look, that's it. There's just cards on the back. I would have expected that, that Games Workshop actually printed out some proper cards for this. Um, you know, I'm hoping they're going to be in the rule book or there's a codex or something like that. Maybe there's something I've missed. But, uh, yeah, that, that would totally suck if that was it. You know, they, especially for a box set too. Like, you know, you at least give some, you know, some playing cards and stuff. I don't know. Anyway, so this is the rule book, and uh, it's got some scenarios in there as well, I believe. So that's pretty cool. Let me just come through, open this up. So there's yeah, there's a few few books I'm going to have to get, I think, for this. Let's just get this open. So I'm really excited to, to play. Ah, okay. So here we go. Here we go. There's some tokens here. So you get some tokens for damage, and I believe they're for maneuvers as well. Right. Just want to be careful they don't pop out of the of the sleeve. You get some starter scenarios. Okay. It's just on a little piece of paper, meh, whatever. And then you get a 
This is the maneuvers card, I think. So these are your maneuvers. So depending uh, what plane you have, different planes will have different maneuvers. So if it's like a jet fighter or something, uh, you you could pick between one to six maneuvers or, or seven. And if it's more of like a sturdy sort of, you know, like a bomber or something, you might only be able to pick from one to three, right? You can see you've got different maneuvers here and stuff. So this is your movement, this is your movement uh, card. And this is very important. Uh, it's especially going to be important for me being a new player to this system. And this is your quick reference sheet, okay, as well. And last but not least, we have the rule book. So I'm hoping that there's going to be some data cards in here, but probably not. Um, okay, so the rule book with the rules. Okay, we won't go through every page. Um, it's quite a decent looking rule book here. So I might even do a how to play video on the channel on it as well. Okay, some example. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, again, they're on pages though. I wanted cards. But, all oh good. At least they're here. I suppose I could always print my own off. So you get the cards on there as well. And stuff like that. So, yeah, all good. Maybe maybe they're a separate purchase from GW. I don't know. Um, but I would have expected that these would have been in the kit. So, yeah, that's the uh, unboxing of the Aeronautica Imperialis Wrath of Angels box. Stay tuned to the channel, everybody. Check out some of our other videos um, if you're into this as well. And uh, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. It helps us a lot when you do that. And I'll catch you in the next video.